Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. An internet is a private network which is heavily protected by many different networking devices, such as a router, firewall, proxy server, DMZ, HoneyNet. IPS and IDS. This diagram is an overly simplified version of the reality. I try to put these devices together in a reasonable order, only for teaching and learning purpose. Today, my topic is HoneyNet and DMZ. First of all. A HoneyNet is a real network composed of some real networking devices and real servers, which we call honeypots. A HoneyNet looks real, and honeypots appear legitimate. However, they work together as a trap or a baiting system, mainly with two purposes. One. The setup of the honey net is intentionally vulnerable. The main purpose is inviting hackers to attack the system, so that their hacking activities can be monitored, and their methods and patterns can be studied. Information could be valuable and helpful for the IT professionals to protect a real company internet. To some extent, honeypots can serve as lightweight intrusion detection systems. Two, a honey net is also used to deflect hackers from attacking a real internet and its resources. Once hackers thought they've got what they need, their attention could be diverted. DMZ stands for demilitarized zone. We borrow this term from Korean demilitarized zone. When the Korean War ended in 1953, a ceasefire agreement was signed and DMZ was created. But anyway, according to this ceasefire agreement, within this buffer zone. No military troops, no weapons, are deployed. In the networking world, DMZ is a lightly protected network. It is still a part of a company's local area network, but less protected than the internet, where the critical and sensitive data is hosted. Why do we need a DMZ? And what is the purpose? The answer is because we want to provide convenient and efficient services to the public users, and we do not want to heavily control the traffic to the DMZ. Let's look at this example. Within this company's local area network, there are two areas or two parts. One area is heavily protected internet. The company does not want the internet users to access this part easily. The other part is DMZ, which is lightly protected area, where the file servers or web servers are hosted. The company wants the public user. To access this service easily and smoothly, like it wants as many public users as possible to access its web pages. If these servers are protected too much, the traffic to DMZ is restricted too much. The public users would be turned away. At the same time. The company still wants to make sure these servers are protected. The trade-off 
between security and convenience is DMZ. In summary, HoneyNet is a baiting network that purposely attracts and invites attackers. DMZ is a lightly protected network whose purpose is to provide a convenient public services to the internet users. They are part of a local area network with different purposes. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.